the beautiful people of the internet. How are you guys doing today? Hopefully great. Welcome back to another Warframe video. We are of course going to be talking about the latest Prime that has just been confirmed and of course how you guys can go and prepare for the specific event. But before I continue with the video any further, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys like to support me or the channel any further, do remember to leave a like on this video as it does help me out substantially. Spot and click the subscribe button for more Warframe videos and streams. Ladies and gentlemen, we also do have a Discord server. So if you guys are, you know, a lonely tenor who needs some general assistance, advice, or would like to then go and hang out with yours truly outside of YouTube or doing any one of my live streams, Go and join the Discord, there will be a link down in the description as this is the place to go and be. What are you guys waiting for? Go and join the Discord server. Without further ado, let's get this video on the road, shall we? So, as per DevStream 168, Hildren Prime along with a primed art art gun has just been confirmed. So, quick disclaimer, if you guys are a long-term subscriber, you'll know that I've already done these types of videos. So, therefore, you guys probably know what to expect. Really, the only difference is the primed art Warframe and, of course, their respective primed art weapons. Now, one thing I do want to talk about is there was a minor change, so some things might not be as effective as they used to. However, all the methods are the same and they still work as well as I do claim. Without further ado, let's start. So, the first thing you guys need to then do is go and max out your current syndicate standing. And what I mean by this is pledge your allegiance to three syndicate standings. Two of them have to be allied with one another, and the third one has to be in a neutral state with those two. Now, you guys can tell who's allied with who just by reading the description. You guys can go and do that homework yourselves. Once you guys have decided who you want to then go and support, you need to make sure with all three of those syndicates that you are rank 5. What's going to happen is that when you guys are rank 5, you'll then have access to holding the much, or you'll have access to go and holding the largest possible syndicate standing of around 130,000 a reputation. With reputation, you're able to then go and buy whatever the syndicates do currently offer. Now, we're more interested in are those relic packs so these relic packs have a chance of giving you the old relics or even new relics that just got released however make sure to then go and only open up this relic pack once hildren prime itself has been released i'm going to repeat this one more time do not open up your relic packs until hildren prime has been released otherwise you're just going to then go and waste your time and precious effort next up is we're not done with syndicates yet but we are going to be talking about their medallion so once you guys have decided to then go and side with a particular syndicate you can then go and pick up medallions which can only be found on their exclusive missions however with the exception of any map that has like you know a small tile set whether it's a defense and i can't think of anything else anything that's not a defense then works like if it's a big map with a lot of like you know gray areas that you haven't discovered then we'll definitely go with those but any map that has a small tile set you're just wasting your time so what are syndicate medallions and how you guys can go and find them so syndicate medallions are these little items that you can then go and pick up only within the exclusive missions that the syndicates do go and provide you with now you can only do these daily and you guys should can you guys should be able to go and pick up at least eight on a daily basis if you guys are familiar with zero and ten zero and how the void plume system works it's exactly the same just go and explore the entire map literally leave no stone unturned except you don't have a ghost tunnel that's helping you guys out you literally do only have your wits kind of i'm gonna give you guys some advice right now you guys need to make sure to then go and have this particular ship i forget what the name was as i haven't played warframe in a long time but you guys want to make sure to go and buy this ship it's around 150 platinum i understand it's quite a bit of platinum but definitely worth the price once you guys have equipped the mission or equipped the actual ship, you then want to go and add a or equip a ability called Oricon Eye. Now, Oricon Eye is my favorite ability. There is no helmet ability out there, but I want to see if they do work side by side as well as I think. But what you guys can do is go and equip Oricon Eye along with a actual ship name. Once you guys do so, you can then go and use that particular ship. Also, do make sure you do have the life support charges. Therefore, you guys can go and activate that particular ability. And the way it works is simple once you guys get in the mission you just go and activate a life support capsule you know from your gear menu and then orders will then go and scan a scan the entire area around you 
therefore you guys can go and easily find those marked targets of course orders will then go and mark them and you just go and follow the markers as simple as that the next thing that you guys need to then go and do is to farm your steel essence and then put them in a cold storage until Hildjum Prime does get released just like how I said with the syndicate standing you guys need to then go and farm a ton of steel essence wait until Hildjum Prime does actually get released into the rewards pool and then go and buy those relic packs from Teshin now I think there was a nerf to the amount of relic packs that you can buy or the amount of steel essences that you can buy so that is kind of whack but i'm not too sure what the entire story behind that was what exactly were the changes but in all honesty go and get yourself steel essence because you guys can just go and there's no limit to the amount of steel essence you guys can farm per day you guys just have to go and sit down put the time in and just get yourself as many steel essence as you can 